give me a warning to Queen say, hey, we're going to be live in a Dick. minute. And I could have got my stuff together. Wayne Buzzle is here. What's going on, Wayne? I'm not ready to be live, Wayne. No, but she's going like this. No. What do I do? I stuck tuck in my stomach? Yeah. Come on. I've been losing weight like crazy. Uh-huh. I'm like Chris, anorexic. Chris Freenesser is here. Yes. You know, I could fit through an opening that the top of my head would go through. Really? Yes. Yes. That's, that's how svelte I am. Like a tick, you mean? Like a tick. I'm, I'm very much like a tick. <laughs> Good evening, That's what they call everybody. me at the Mexican restaurant every Sunday. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Here comes your tick. Messler's Classic says yo. Yo! Diesel says hi, UTG. What's happening, Diesel? Matthew Harry? Harry? Says hi. Hi. <laughs> Rocco says what's up, Tony? Aren't you supposed to be taking a... From a little bit of what do you want? What, what do you want me to do? Well, what do you want me to yeah, do? Put, put that up a little bit. I can't pick it up a little bit. No. I can put it closer to you. No, no, I don't okay, want to closer. I don't. Want, I, I, I get really paranoid when it gets too close. What's up? To Actually, you? you know what? If you can, move it away so a little bit. I can't, but then I get more of you. Right? No, that's fine. I'll just go like this. Here well, we now I have all of you. Right? I don't want all of me in there. <laughs> Master Metzler's classic says, "Long time no see." Welcome back, Metzler. Amanda says hello, everybody. Hey. Barry Rooker, hello from North Dakota. What's happening? Bill McKiska, Sean Fagan. Uh, all the regulars are in here. here. Mm -hmm. Let's yes. hope. So it. Whoa. Yeah, it's Seymour, whoa, good job. Hey, that's Did you my see drink. that? Can I have that? I've got the reflexes of a puma. Can I have my drink? That's yeah. mine. It's green tea, everybody. Relax. Yes. <laughs> it looks like it's just dirty water. It's green tea. It's dirty water. <laughs> She likes to drink dish water. It's a, I think I can't break her out of. So what's new, Tony? You know, new. It's it's uh it's still sunlight out, so we we have the the spring oh, ahead. Yeah. It's yeah. Still cold out though. Yeah, it's a little nippy today. I wanted to go out on a motorcycle. I was like, I was looking at my poor bikes. They're all they're all sitting there just like waiting. Uh -huh. Ride me, ride me. I'm like, no. Oh, yeah, it's cold out. It's too cold today. I'm waiting to hear back what? from, wait, I got, I got to keep checking, oh. <laughs> I'm both trying it's to find another chief. <laughs> Pretending to be They me. haven't written back yet. And buy things. <laughs> what are you trying to buy, Tony? Uh, I'm trying to buy a mud toy. So, so I've got a, I've got a challenge coming up, right? Which I, I'm, I'm not going to mention anything on the channel yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, so I went to the course yesterday, yesterday morning. So it's a, it's a, it, it, this is going to be a six hour long challenge, okay, over a, a, a specific set of trails. And uh, so I went yesterday and did about a quarter of it. And I did it in my Black XJ, which is the only four wheel drive that I have. And for me to compete in this challenge, I have to go exceedingly fast um, on these roads because the thing that I'm going to be challenging is, is really 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 super fast so I've got to be able to outdrive them and I realized that the only way that I can do that is by having the tail end of the Jeep ride the berms and bounce off a couple of trees and I am not going to do that to my black XJ so now I'm looking for something that I can something that's pre-destroyed that I can take out into the woods and bounce off of berms and trees and stay ahead of this thing that I've, I've got the challenge against I'm going to have to block you from my Facebook. No, if I get this, this will be great. This will be great. I'm going to have to like, sign out of my Facebook all the time and not give you the password. What's up, Zero? Zero, what's happening, brother? You need one with an exo cage, Rocco says. No, I don't want anything that formal. I just want something that I can, I can send. You know what I mean? I, I want to be able to send it, and I can't really send what I have. She was his boss and boss lady. <laughs> hey, that's what I call her. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. She is the boss. She tells me what to do. She wears the pants oh, in this family. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> sure I do. <laughs> what do you mean? Sure I do. What, what is your pet name for me around the house? I have a pet name for you. Come on. Don't be, don't be like that. He's making this up right now. What do you call me around the house? Tony. <laughs> Call you, Tony. you call me bitch. <gasps> I like, do, not, do bitch. not say that. Yes, oh my yes. god, do not say oh, that. Are that's you a, crazy? That's a pet name for me. Oh, that's terrible. Do not listen I to me. I know it's terrible. I do not you say that. You know what it does to my ego? 
Oh, oh my please. God. Yeah, somebody's like, what? And yeah. Sarah was like, ha, no, I don't. No, her. that's what she calls me. All right. <laughs> Do you want me to leave? <laughs> Stop. Bitch. Stop saying that. There's kids watching. Stop that. Female dog. It's, it's a, it's I did a... not call you that. Oh, my God. <laughs> he does this to me in public. Like, he says, like, since I met him, he'll say, like, the most ridiculous things. In front of like strangers. I hate you, Tony. <laughs> Where are you taking Bottle Rocket? Where am I taking it? I'm yeah. taking it to the first test session that becomes available to me. Not a regular test in tune, just a test session. Okay. Um, f next Friday, well, I, I don't know if it's going to happen for sure. I still got to get a dog sitter. But Friday night, I think we're going to be taking a uh, sleigh hammer out. So. You have to let me know what he's yes. doing. And then Bottle Rocket, like I said, as soon as I know of a test session that I can buy into. Mm -hmm. And then that, that should be shortly. Okay. I worked on the propane car today. I got the, I got the transmission bolted up to the engine. That's all ready to go. It's just sitting on the floor. I have to do some welding on the car. I got to do some, scrape some shit off, do a little painting, and then I can plug it all together. So I'll have that done. Mm, Tuesday, Wednesday, so hopefully sometime this week we'll be able to fire it. Well, no, I shouldn't say that because I still need to, I still need to get fittings and and and, and line for the. This week we're gonna try to get the propane girl started. House Cartwright says hi guys. I ordered three t-shirts Friday. Look forward to seeing them. Nice, thank you. Thank you. I may have to print a couple, so they'll still be on their way. Shirts coming out tomorrow. But well, um, watch out for the third hand smoke because it'll it'll kill you. Yes. Old Cars and Music says I was going to guess Numb Nuts. Shame on you, Uncle Kathy. Do you see what? <laughs> yeah, listen, I got to be honest, right? This is my, this is, I, I share my, my shame. You know what I'm saying? You guys might as well know the real story, okay? This is how I'm looking at it. Don't say things like that. Um, Mia Mel says, why not do the X2 project with one of your healthy ones? What do you mean? I guess, uh, the trail riding. Because he'll beat it up. I don't want to destroy one. Yeah. I don't want to destroy it. I went, I went three quarters sand with my black one. And like I said, I'm just, the thing that I'm, I'm racing is like ridiculously, exceedingly fast, purpose built, Purpose built the as fast as you can get off road vehicle, right? So, <laughs> Jeff Hutchins says, I totally guessed, bitch. Huh? <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> <coughs> I sent you an email, Jeff. I got your address, I'm gonna send you a shirt, <laughs> but that's not correct. Did you not call him that? Oh my gosh, Jeff. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to leave. No, I'm no, it's, have to leave. it's okay. And That's right. They understand. They understand. They believe you. They understand. Oh my god, this isn't true. He so, lies like a rug, Tony. Why? I will not do a live with you if you continue this. So anyway, I don't want to tear up one of my jeeps racing this thing because that's what's going to happen. And I was like blasting through stuff with my black one that I really didn't want to blast through. It was like I'm cringing. I'm like I, I don't want I don't want to hurt this thing. It's a nice truck. I use it. It's fun. It's it's good to go like low speed wheeling that kind of thing. Right? That's fun. But no, this is blasting. so. There's a lot of there's a lot of road right. There's all like on 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 roads, and there's a lot of roads. It's dirt road and it's like like just turns and sweeps and stuff like that. And I want to be able to just flat foot the thing and bounce off whatever terrain I have to because I am I got to be a very, very fast thing. And and there's a good chance Dr. Art dies in the process. <laughs> Dr. Art's going with you. Yes, Dr. Art is going to be riding a shotgun. Right, because I go to chiropractor. Right. So there's, there's, there's no way Kathy can do this. <laughs> I'm not going. So Unfortunately, Tony, you, you're going to have to hang out with Dr. Art. So I just made I just <laughs> made an offer. Well, I'm waiting to see if this guy writes me back. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, let's see. We need a video of this trail run. It, well, we're going to try to do it live. Mm. Right? I, I'm, I, can't, I haven't announced it or talked about it or anything like that yet because it's not all completely yeah, cemented yet. I don't yet. know if you're going to be able to get a live up and running. Well, but... we're going to the, the idea is to try to yeah. do this whole thing live. Mm. Uh, let's see. 
Cougar Sunny GT says, Tony, I agree with your video where you say Dodge Chrysler is done. I say Ford will buy Ram and it's over for the Three Stooges. Roll up your windows. I don't think Ford's going to buy Ram. Ford has no reason to buy Ram. No? No. No. And Ram is... Well, they trucks do really well anyway, the Ford trucks. They're yeah. One of those are fleet trucks, right? Yeah, I... I mean, Ram will probably live on Chrysler. Is, 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 well, Chrysler's been over for a long time. And... Uh, no, it's over. It's over. It's been over for a long time. Chris Greenaway says, Hey, UTG, I'm laying a shop out and having an argument with a family member about the door being on the face or the side of the building. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I've had them, I've had them both ways. Mm hmm Side's probably better. Probably better. Easier to pull in and out, right? Like, cause is that, is that's the longest length, right? Usually? Usually. Oh, it depends on the shape of the shop. Yeah. Yeah. So who doesn't know? Gene Stevenson, we use an ancient and accepted stick in the ground and hope the sun doesn't hide behind any clouds. Oh, yeah. he's talking at the time. Uh, yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Dean. We appreciate that. Yeah. We should put we should put one of Dean's sayings on a shirt. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Do that. Sure. I guess. Um. Let's see. Why not have the rally kiwi with you? The what? The rally kiwi. The rally kiwi. I don't know. I mean, why wouldn't I take kiwi with me? Yeah. Kiwi's fragile. <laughs> I think Dr. R could take a better beating than Kiwi can. Let's see. Uh, Rocco says, Tony, who did the intro song for your old podcast? Thanks. Are we using that again? We're not using that again. The I don't even know if I have that. The intro song for the old podcast. Remember we were uh, recording so, the whole uh, intro? So when, we did, <laughs> so when we did the podcast, the first time around, um, we needed, we need, see, we were trying to do things a little bit more like normal, you know what I mean? Like like the way other people do say that they all have like intros and intro music and shit like that. So he says, well, we need that too, right? So we, uh, I, I brought a band in this room. <laughs> we had a, no, it was one guy. No, it wasn't? Yeah. No, it was the one guy. Yeah. And he brought his band in here. No, I don't think so. We had drums. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Right, I remember. Yeah. Wait, Mexican say, Specs says the package you sent isn't in a tracking system yet. We'll see what happens. I hate the USPS. <laughs> it should be in the tracking system. All right. I'm yeah, sorry. We, Just keep watching it. Yeah, we don't screw around. When we, when, he, when we need music, we actually bring a band into the studio and do. Yeah. Mm. We must protect Kiwi, Joe K says. Yeah, yeah. Now Kiwi could break. I, I can see. We, I think Doctor R could get bounced around a little bit better, and, and uh, he, he'll be more resilient. You think? Yeah. Well, Kiwi has the knee thing. Kiwi has the knee thing too. Yeah. yeah. And his neck thing too, right? And the neck. Doesn't he have a neck thing? Yes, Kiwi's got Kiwi. Fixed. Kiwi's a little on the fragile side, you know. And uh, I, 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 I will absolutely, positively guarantee there will be injuries involved in this event. <laughs> right. Right, that's what we need to hear, Tony. Uh, let's see. We don't mess around, Dean Stevenson says. No. No. No, we go send, we go send. Mm -hmm. What's up, Nick Bernie? Um, Chris Greenway says, UTG, I'm laying it out for maximum storage as a two-vehicle garage. If you have the door on the face, then you're always pulling your vehicle out of the way. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. That is uh, that it's a, an issue. Well, it's an issue with my last two places. I had the same problem at the last shop that I have at the shop, mm. in that I have to move things in and out of the way. So like, it's a pain in the ass. It's a pain in the ass. But you know, you, you you deal with the cards that you don't. Yeah, if you're if you're if you're going from scratch, put it on the side. You know, on the, you know the long. Eric Uvan says, Uncle Kathy, any news from up north? Peg report. No. He <laughs> sent me a report? He, he sent me a picture a couple of I don't know, like, he keeps sending me pictures of cigarettes. 
Oh, nice. <laughs> I think that's that's cool. I, I like that. Uh, Zero says, remember the April Fool's video with the UTG theme song? Haha, <laughs> use that. <laughs> April Fool's with the UTG theme song. Yeah. April Fool's video with the UTG... What was it? What was it? Oh, my God. <laughs> Hang on. Um, wait, is it the... Is it last year's? Or the year... I don't think we did one last year. Did we do one last year? No. No, April Fool's Day is the day that we raced Casper last year. So we didn't yes. put, um we didn't do an April Fool's video. We put that Oh, on. we did one the day before. Did we? What was it? We did one the day before. It was uh I remember the one that I was yelling at you in the shop. I'm walking away. I remember you wanted to do something stupid. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. I don't remember that one either. It's all, it's all a blur, right? I mean... Jeff Hutchins sent you $25. Well, thank you, Jeff. Thanks for the t-shirt. It's not too late. I'd take the John Dodge shirt. If it's too late, no problem. No, Jeff, I will print you a John Dodge shirt. Let me write it down right now. <coughs> thank you, Jeff. That wasn't necessary. Hang on, I'm writing it down. Uh, what you... did we do last year? I remember we did something the, that day or the day before. Oh, wait. Dodge. No, on the first we were racing Casper. Yeah, but the day before we did the thing with the lawnmower. Oh, that's what, what did we, we do did. with the lawnmower? What was that? Um, you uh, well, you dragged it, it out of the woods. It was a will it run? Yeah, will it run? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sierra says you were kidding, but the Uncle Tony's garage was funny. I don't remember... Do you remember what he's talking about? <laughs> zero, can can Which video is it? <laughs> Alright, so what I have to do now, Zero, if you would if you could put a link, I'm I'm gonna go now to my own live, right? This is okay. Hang on, dashboard. Okay. Uh, content live. Okay. No, Tony, you have to go to the actual channel. No, you're not going to see the channel now. I'm not going to see the channel Okay, now? no, here, click that. <laughs> click the link. Click what link? Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. Okay, go I'll go to this one. Yeah, okay. All right, so I go to... Uh, <laughs> no, the internet will blow up yet. You Tony's touching the computer. <laughs> Freaking me out. Yeah. He's gonna break something. I'm, I'm out of my. Uh, I'm out of my realm here. Okay. He always comes up. Here we go. Okay. Look. Now I'm looking at myself. Oh, this is weird. I'm like, how'd you do this? Hang I don't want to hear myself. All right. Wait. I'm gonna get myself a thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> only 82. Are you looking at 82 thumbs up? Come on, guys. Oh my goodness. Um, how do we have 6,000 comments on this? My. It says we have 6,298 comments. It's the old live. Are you sure about Which that? Live you on? <sighs> okay, there I am. There we are. <laughs> All right, so let me turn off the sound. Yeah, please do. Okay, okay. Uh, Fun with Cars sent you super chat. Thank you. Hey, UTG and fans. This takes me back to my youth, wrenching on top fuel nostalgia, Hemi power front engine drag shows. Really? That's, I did I did a lot of that. Very cool. I did a lot, a lot of that. That's awesome. Um, so. Okay, so, so, so zero. Um, if, yes, this is the fourth, it's the fifth wall. So, oh, my God. oh, this is too weird. Look, I'm looking at my, there's a delay now, because I'm looking at myself looking at the computer. Now I'm looking. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Everything will implode. Don't do that. Okay. You'll sh you'll shred the time space container. Oh! See? Can you grab that? Yeah. All right, here. Put that. Thank put you. that there. Okay. All right. So now, um, now, now, zero. If you could put a link to the video that you're talking about, I can see it on here and I can click on it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you fell. I'm sorry. Yes. I shouldn't try and move things. Stop looking at yourself, Tony. I can't. I'm mesmerized. Oh, look. There's me looking at me. Oh, he says you asked for a theme song from us. Did I? Oh. Okay, there's, there's the accident that you just had. Yeah. All right. So now, let's do this. Let's let's try to go for infinity. 
So you get me looking yeah. at me. Uh -huh. well, come on. So come around this way. Oh, I have to make sure this doesn't fall again. Okay, there you go. Okay. <laughs> but it, it's, it's, it's taken a few minutes. Okay, now look. So, okay, uh -huh. this is... All right, it's gonna take it's gonna take a, a, a minute to catch up. Oh. Come on. What a delay. Yeah, there's a lot of delay. Hmm. You should say something to me. Oh yeah, well I was mesmerized. Can you All see? Right. Can you see it now? I don't know. There we go. <laughs> okay. But you can't see in the computer there. Do you need me to? No. Yeah, you should see you. It's cut off. Well, you could see me. Yeah. You see me, and then you can see me, but there's no, like, no, there's no further visions of it. Like, I wanted to see. Well, I can't get everything. Generation right. after generation. All right, this isn't. <laughs> can we get another camera no. on here to get you shooting no. me, watching me shooting you? No. We can't. All right, let's just let's just give up on the whole idea then. All right. So, right. didn't you want the link? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm gonna watch for zero to put it up, and when he does, I'm gonna uh, click on it. Zero probably doesn't know which video it is either. <laughs> He's looking for it now. Okay. I'm sure. Now put two mirrors up. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Do we have a mirror? No, there's no mirrors in here. No. No. Uh. Uh. Can you get the reflection in the? Glass of water? No. Oh my goodness. Yes, Teutonius, yeah. Mirror Universe. It's Auntie Kathy's garage, right? <laughs> I certainly hope not. Tony's a Canada dry man? Yes. Very dry. Very Canada. This is a form of voyeurism. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So somebody... All right. Do you see a link? No. No. No, is it... Well, I can't tell. I don't know how... how if what I'm seeing here is in tune with what you're seeing there, if there's a delay I just see you right too. now. Okay. <laughs> this is getting weird, Tony. What if I... What if I got my phone? No. What if I watched it on my phone? All right. Let's try this. Can't we just talk about cars? We can, but we can talk about cars while I'm looking at the phone, and then you could be looking at you me. You have to look at the phone. In my phone, I could be looking at me with me in the background. No? Okay. Let's see. Um, Canada Dry is just great. It's, it's groovy. It is groovy. Yes. Does this double the views? I don't think so. I would think it would. Yeah, it doesn't though. Is UT chasing squirrels right now? Hoobie's garage. <laughs> I forgot to get my popcorn, Terry Chesney says. This has to be really boring for people to watch, Tony. Well, let's make it exciting for you. I was trying to make it exciting by creating all sorts of optical. YouTube will ban the live? Maybe. What was that? YouTube will ban the live. I, I was trying to make it like different, you know. I was trying to make it surreal for anybody who, who wanted to. Oh, it's surreal, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Hemihead sixty eight. Good evening. What's happening, Mia? I don't know. Zero's zero must be hunting for the link. You wanted to make a song. I don't know. I can't remember. Which I don't one remember it, was. it. I don't remember. We we can't make funny videos like that anymore. People get mad. People get mad. We lose subs every time. Every time. Well, we lose sub, subs every time we do a live. Yeah. <laughs> That's all every time. Every time. We're, we're not likable. We pick up, you know, we'll, like typical video, we we'll pick up like 20 subs, 30 yeah. subs, 40 subs. Every every live we do, we lose six. Yeah. <laughs> don't know exactly six. It's weird. We always lose six every subs. Every Sunday, we lose six people. I hate this guy now. <laughs> On sub. Russ Peters, Derelict says Tony's having a boomer moment. Next, he is going to be asking where you put the VH the VHS tape in. I I I'm still trying to wrap my head around color TV. I I've been saying that all along. I'm still 
I'm that still is baloney. No, it's not baloney. I'm still I still remember when I was a kid, Sunday night the FBI would come on and it said the FBI in color, right? And I'm still I'm still right there, like, well this is this is revolutionary, you know what I mean? Then Dutch Girl says, I lose two to three for every live two. Hi, <laughs> nice, Jamie, good going. It's when they really realize that you know I don't like these people. I don't like these people. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thought he was pretty cool, and then I saw him on a live. <laughs> oh, and it's like cringe. We don't like you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, Zero says, "Haha, goodbye to the future six who will not return." Oh yeah, the six, <laughs> the well, six that we lose every. Month. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sure there'd be more this one. Because <laughs> we're not off to a good start. This is the best start ever. Not really. <laughs> you have to be optimistic, babe. Yeah? Yes. Alright. It's hard to be optimistic. Uh, any word on Steve Maddox? I haven't heard from him. No. No? I, I guess he's still... Yeah. Recovering, right? It's going to take him a yeah. long time to recover. You all right? Yeah, Am I boring you now? A little bit. She's yawning and just going through her eyes. <laughs> um, Sid Ryder says, uh, Tony, you think those EVs can live more than 10 years? Not without big, big, big costs, no. No. So you did a video this week. What did you do it about? Well, wait, that's not surprising. I do, I do. I know, you did it on the, on the, on the new, uh, oh, the charger. Charger. So what did you think about the charger? I said everything I, I thought about it in the video. Mm. Now I'm, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> what else to say? What were the first drafts like? You said you did oh, three yeah. times. I, yeah. Yeah, I, I, it was just, it was just ranty. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just wasn't making any sense. Yeah. I don't think. <laughs> Old man. <laughs> Old man. Let's see. Um, Robert Jenny says, Tony, I'm 62 and I hate technology and learning how to use it. I don't use it. I, 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 I leave that all out to Kathy. Yeah. She does sense. all the technology. I go, I go as I far like as it. carrying a cell phone. And, and talking to the camera. That's why that's, I worry. That's Every time I he touches the computer, weird screens come up. <laughs> what have you that's done? That's the truth. What have you done? <laughs> that's the truth. I, mean, I literally, I sit down and within... I, I see things that I've never seen before. Yeah, within 30 like, seconds. How did you do that? <laughs> that's why I'm always it, nervous it, when he starts fumbling around with it, something on there. It opens up new dimensions <laughs> right. in the computer that have never like... It's true. Don't touch the computer, Tony. Sierra says, I'm having trouble finding the video. Abort mission. Okay. Okay. It's all right. No problem, because we don't know which one it is. <laughs> Might have taken it down. I, like, we've, taken, we've taken a lot of videos down. Maybe it was so bad. Yeah, I'm tech support. That's pretty terrible, actually. <laughs> She's not tech support. She is tech, period. The end. So I give you IT support? <laughs> like okay, if if Kathy if Kathy was to drop dead today, oh, okay, I would have and, and like seriously, now, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating one bit. I would have not a clue how to do any of this. Yes, you would. How you do you use the GoPro on now? Yeah, but I would. I'm really happy about. Yes, but I have no idea how to make it go from the GoPro to anything. I have no idea how to get into anything. I don't know what the because passwords have, are to anything. I have the passwords written in the book. But I don't even know where the book is. Or what, in my head. It's right there. But if you gave me the passwords, I wouldn't know what to do with it. Oh, somebody would help you. <laughs> well, I would have to have somebody come in and help me. Okay, yeah, somebody would help you. It's not that big of a deal. It probably isn't, but I don't know how to do it. I know, you, you ignore those things. But I am glad that you finally used the GoPro. I it took a while for you to get used to it. You're like, I'm not touching that. Well, I had to because you kept getting mad at me. Every time we shoot a video, you get mad at me. So I, I had to... I get mad at you. <laughs> so, 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 okay. I don't know the password to the YouTube account. I don't know the password to any of our bank accounts. I don't know the password to any of the email accounts. I have a Facebook, but I don't know the password to it. Okay, so you use my Facebook. 
So, well, yeah, well, yeah, well, I, well I, I use your Facebook because I don't want my name mm -hmm. on anything, right? right. I what don't. What about the website? I have no idea. I have no clue. I know, I know it's it's all called Tony'sGarage.com, but I have no <laughs> idea what the password or or how to. Who I runs don't the know. website? Do you know? What's that? Who runs the website? Do you know? You? No, I mean who's the server? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> You guys, you guys legitimately don't understand. I, I have, I have problems. I have, you know, I, I'm just being honest. I, I don't know any of this stuff. I, I don't know any of it. So please, if your shirt is a little late, I apologize. <laughs> but like, I have a lot on my plate. I don't know. I don't know anything about the merch. It's okay. I got it. Like, I mean, literally, I know nothing about the merch. I know that there's a store. I know we have a store. I know that Zero and Fubar put links, excuse me, to our merch mm -hmm. on the store. But I have no idea how to get into it, or even what's in the store, or even what any of the stuff costs. Okay. I have no idea how much money comes in from it. <laughs> I don't know what the PayPal account is. I don't know what the password is. Do you don't know what PayPal account means? I have no idea. <laughs> no, he doesn't know. He I have know. no idea. The only thing you have to do is think about making videos. And yes. making video. And that's that, it. That, that's the only thing I think about is that's just working it. on cars that's, and making videos. That's it. I lived in this house for 20... How many <laughs> years ago? It's 20 years. I live, I've lived in this house for 20 years and I still have never seen a key for it. I have no idea where the key is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I am not making this up. I know how to get in. <laughs> Tony's the talent. That's right. <laughs> I, know, I know how to get in. I have never seen a key to this place. I have no idea what it even looks like. It's really funny, actually. But it's the truth. Am I making any of this up? No. <laughs> no, you're not making it up. Unfortunately. Do you know where the knives and forks are? Yes. You do? That's good. Yes. That's good. I know where the knives and forks are. I know where the glasses are. Yeah, that's good. I know... Um, this is an improvement. I, I, I know the fridge... Although I don't know where the fridge is. Yes. Although I don't really believe in a fridge. Because once something goes into the fridge, I won't ever touch it again. Unless it's like to keep milk fresh. Uh-huh. A fridge should only be this big. Okay. Because that's the only thing you need is to keep the milk fresh so I but have milk in my coffee. You need eggs. I don't need eggs. Ice. Oh, ice. Yeah. I, I don't use ice. Oh, okay. Well, you put ice in things. Yeah, I do. But yeah, I don't I don't I generally don't. What else do I know? <laughs> Do I know? <laughs> okay, I generally know where the laundry is. You do? <laughs> like, I'm not making any of this stuff up there. Sorry, guys. This is just funny. Well, what do I do? I say, Kat, I need stuff to take yeah, a shower. Yeah, right. Right? Yeah. That's it. Every night, Kat, I need stuff to take a shower. And then she goes off <laughs> into different parts of the house. That I'm really not acquainted Sometimes with. Sometimes mumbling under my breath. Yeah, a lot of times. And then she brings me clothes. She brings me socks, pants, a shirt. And I'll say, do you know these clothes are? <laughs> do you guys do this? Sarah sure. says the laundry is in some part of the house. Yes, it is. Well, no, there are parts of the house that I'm really not that acquainted with. <laughs> Because I don't have any business there. Right. <laughs> funny. You're funny too. I'm, 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 am I making any of this up? No. <laughs> like you could think that. Oh, he's making that up. No. no. <laughs> I'm, I'm being. I'm just. I'm just being honest with you guys. No. He's not making that up. You need all the room in your brain to do the, the to, stuff. To do the stuff right. <laughs> You can't think about anything else, literally. <laughs> it's like, there's always in the comments, wow, this guy knows so much. Yeah, but it's at the expense of a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like where my socks are. Nitro and water heaters do not mix, Rocco says. <laughs> it's, this is true. Oh, so, so, I mean, my... I'm just honest, right? My my basic my basic personality mm -hmm. is a mixture of autism, brain damage, sugar, <laughs> caffeine, and nicotine. <laughs> Am I making that up? No, <laughs> I, don't say that about yourself. But it's true. It's absolutely true. You're just not 
into doing things. It's not that I'm not. No, I have blocks. I have, I have blocks. <laughs> Everything is a block. I have blocks. Life is a block. Sounds like fun, though. Yeah. <laughs> Socks are in your feet, right? Um, don't know where the can opener is, but there's a sawzall and torch in the garage that can open the cans, right? We have can openers, but I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't know anything about them. Um, <laughs> I don't open cans. That's I have woman for that. <gasps> Mmm. <coughs> Sunless car says once washed a red item with the whites. Uh oh. Oh my god. Got out of laundry early when we got married. <laughs> That's really bad. I remember when we first got married, I used to have to do the laundry like either at your mom's or the laundromat because we had a studio apartment. Do you remember those green towels that somebody gave us for our our bridal shower and everything was green? No. All of our clothes were green. Every T-shirt we had that was white turned green. I have very little our memories jeans of turned of, green. <laughs> I have very little memories of of that period of time. It was a long time ago. I don't think they allowed towels to do that anymore. Yeah. That was in the eighties. Sierra says, "Why would I need to open a can?" <laughs> Thank you. Oh man, you guys are killing me. Oh, uh, let's see. Tony should get locked out so Kathy gets her butterscotch 426, 440 GTX. <laughs> locked out? Yeah. You want me to lock you out? You, if you lock me out, yeah, I, 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 I know how to get in. <laughs> let's see. Um, Tony reminds me of my sons. They just know the stuff shows up. Mm. Yeah. Pretty funny. <laughs> Thumper says, can opener, sawzall, cutoff wheel? Nah, Tony smashes it with a rock until it opens. Russ Beater Derelick says, I remember my dad using a metal oil can spout to open soup. <laughs> oh. Oh, I, can, I can see that. I can see that. Mm. Oh, look, new food. Let's but, you know, I have cooked. You have. You see me like, do that? You do the barbecue mostly. I, I, I do the barbecue. I really don't grill. I make, I, make, I make the chicken with the mushrooms and the onions. You do and, make that. Right? Once make, in a while. Yeah. Yeah. You do make that. Which is good. It's really good. What else do I do? I like that sometimes you've started to cook. It's very nice. Yeah. And I like that you do the grill. But that's how I know where some of the stuff is in the kitchen. Right. I know yeah. what to pay. I know what to... I know what you to, know more now than you did... I like, would like, say like five years ago. Oh, I know a lot more now than I did five years ago. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> the kitchen was a very abstract thing like five years ago. Uh -huh. But since then, I've, I've, I've yeah. started to become more involved in yeah. you know, like the kitchen and stuff. It's good. Um, but you know the toilet paper is when you run out. It's all, there's always papers here and there. <laughs> so there's paper. <laughs> How do you know you have a bad condenser? Big fan. Thank you. Steve Drew says. A bad condenser? Mm -hmm. You mean a, a bad AC condenser or a bad ignition condenser? I don't know. He just says bad condenser. Well, a bad AC condenser would just be a leak. Um, very erratic ignition. When, when a condenser goes bad, you can't miss it. It's, 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 it's a combination of stumbling, backfiring, uh, running really rough, hard to start. Um, it's horrible, and with a, with a point ignition, it is, as long as the points are opening and closing, and you know they're they're clean, the only thing that can give you that kind of stumbling would be like a, a bad condenser or like a cracked cap. A cracked cap will give you symptoms like that too, but the, it's it's very distinctive when you do get when you do get a bad condenser. Let's see, um, grumpy stilt skin. Can Tony operate the washing machine? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I operate a washing machine? Haven't you welded it before? I yeah. Yeah. I fixed it many times, but this I have no one idea. The one before this one. The one before this. Our one. washing machine's really old. <laughs> the one before this. I'm one. waiting for it to die. It won't die. Well, okay. The one before this one we had in New York mm -hmm. back when I was I, I, my nitro yeah, you welded that sickness one. days. It was the and the drum kept the drum cracking. Kept, yeah. 
-hmm. So I kept welding patches into it. Right. But I never actually operated it. <laughs> it's not something a guy does. Uh, phone with Carl says, I saw a meme about a dishwasher for sale with a set of heads in it. Oh, yeah? Somebody made a meme with you, Tony. Yeah, yeah, I know. Did you see that? Yes. Mm. A couple of people sent it to me in a message. And they're like, look, Tony's a meme. <laughs> Yay! Yay! I made it! Great! <laughs> Do new condensers still suck? Yeah, from what I mean, I so you now once I had a, a couple of condensers go bad, new condensers go bad, I just started every place I go where I see an old ignition system, an old distributor or whatever, I automatically grab the condenser. So now I have, I don't know, maybe like a dozen 1960s, 1970s condensers all put, a, you know, put away. So yeah, I, I, I wouldn't trust a new one. If you have no choice, yeah, use it. But if you have a choice between using a a, a, a good used one or a, a new one, the good used one is a better bet. Uh, Rick S says, hey, Tony, I have a dead six-cylinder in a slant, leaking exhaust valve slash seat. How would you go about this? Say that one more time now. I have a dead six-cylinder six, <laughs> in the slant. Oh, number six is dead. Yeah. Okay. Leaking exhaust valve seat, um, valve slash seat. How would you go about this? Well, the seat won't leak. The valve will leak. The, the valve is either warped or burned. Um, I, I, you have to see how sunk it is. Um, you have to see how sunk it is. If it's very sunk, you can bring it to a machine shop that can put a seat in it. You can still find slant six heads around dirt cheap. Like if you find somebody who's got a Mopar, generally, a Mopar guys have all got like slant sixes laying in their shed in their backyard and in the weeds. You can probably still find one really cheap. But any machine shop can drop a seat in it if need be. Uh, Jeff K says, what's the best general for replacement water pumps? New or Riemann? I couldn't tell you. That's a, that's a flip a coin. Yeah. Yeah. New and Riemann are both going to use the same seals. You know, bearings never go bad in water pumps unless the seal goes bad. So whether it's new or reman, it's still going to use the same seals. They're going to come from the same factory in the Hunan province made by the same five-year-old girl. So it doesn't really make any difference. Should you be using those at all? Five-year-old girls in the Hunan province to make seals and well, yeah, water pump parts? I, mean, I don't think that that's really... But that's what they do and that's what you get. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Tony, what is the origin of the 671 blowers and who used it on car V8 first? Okay, those, those are GMC blowers. The roots of the roots blower go all the way back to the 1850s. 1850, 1850s or 1860s. And they were used as uh, for mine shafts, for ventilating mine shafts. And then later on, that same, that, that same design, the same roots design, was picked up, was bought by GMC, and GMC started using them on the two-stroke diesels. So, the, uh, in, in the way they're found in nature, they don't look like the one, okay, so, they're bolted to the side of the diesel, an inline diesel. So you got the, the, the 271, 671, there is no 871 in nature. Um, two, four, Six, there's 271, 471, 671, and I think there's a 1071. But eight is not found in nature, and the, 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 the bigger ones. So, but that's the roots of it. They, they actually go, they originally designed for mine shift ventilation, and later on adapted by GMC. Let's see. Um, we had them in our early diesel fire engines. And there were two... There are two different configurations. There's the, the V671. The V671 is the one. Oh, wait, okay. There is a, there is a V871. There's no, regular, there's no regular 871, but there is a V871. And those mount in the, in, in the valley of, of, a, of a V style engine with bolts that go in on a, so there's no, there's no footprint on them. So the, like a, a 671 blower has an 11 inch by 11 inch 
footprint. You know, it's 11 inches long and 11 inches across. And you get the four bolts on each side. And that's actually used on an inline bolted to the side of an inline. And the V-style blowers are the ones that have uh, feet on the side, right? And they use bolts that go in like this on an angle and, and hold it to the intake manifold. What? Oh, are you done? I think so. Okay. Let's see. I was resting. Uh, Rick asks, that's interesting. I had two slant six pumps go bad because the bearings bolt was not even too tight. I don't know who he's talking to. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that's what happens when I rest. Um, let me see. Oscar, I'm 24. I feel offended. I don't know what's going on. They're nice. talking to each other. Everyone's offended. Well, he can he can unsub. He could be one of the six. One of the six. I <laughs> lose every live. That's fair. Um, Vega six sixty. Uh, how long does it usually take to get stuck oil rings on a running engine to come around? You run for a few hours. It's not a guarantee that they're ever going to come unstuck. No guarantee. No guarantee. It depends on depends on why they're stuck. You know how they're stuck. Um, there's no guarantee. What's quicker to New York or by car? The African swallow is the fastest way to New York. African swallow. Yeah, an unladen <laughs> African <laughs> swallow. Thunderbird 19, since you super chat. Huge <laughs> fan. Oh, 1968, sorry. 1968, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, it says something, but I can't read it. It just says huge fan, and there's something underneath it, but I can't read it. If you want to read it separately, I'll read it. It just says huge fan. Is that what we're Yeah, I just looked at it over here. Cause okay. There's nothing like stuck to the bottom of that? Maybe it only does it on my it's a, it's, it's, it's a thumbs up. Okay. Yes. Um, let's see. Benjamin C. Hello, Benjamin C. He made us that beautiful thing that's on the wall that says UTG. The oh. Wooden, the wooden UTG. Show it. I have to move this. Benjamin C. made this. And we yes. see it every single day. And we love it so much. It's really awesome. That wooden plaque. Okay, so Benjamin C says, Tony, you mentioned you'd only lease a new charger. Hear me out on this. You could lease one to review day one and then after a year. Your honest opinion would be a good would be good to combat other YouTube BS. I really don't want to lease one. I I have I have It would be like torture, right? <laughs> I, Think about it. What would it be like if you actually did lease one? Like, what would you do? Say you went to the dealership, right, and you decided to lease one. You're going to go through with it. What would you do with it? Nothing. I you mean, might, you, no, like, you would actually, let's say you had to. You I had, had to go to, lease one. You have to go lease one. You have to bring one home. What would you do? Uh, drive it home. And then what? What would you do with it? I, I, I don't know. I, you're asking me a question. I don't know. I would do something with it. I, I don't know. Would you test it? Would you race it? Would you, <coughs> what would you do? Go right to the track, Joe K says. Probably not. Koopy says it'd make good content. <coughs> it would make good content, but I'm just not into it. I'm, Tony, I, I, well, Tony, it would be you with a car that you hate. That's what it would be. <laughs> I don't hate the car. I don't hate the car. I don't hate. I don't hate the, the I like the way it looks. Mm -hmm. I like the look of the car. I I, I think it's unique for a change, mm -hmm. right? Like like the the previous generation Charger was unique, but it was ugly, right? No matter how you look at it, it's an ugly car. Um, the Challenger was nice, but it was bloated. It was okay. Fat. Yeah. And the new Charger doesn't look bloated, and I think that's what I like about it. Mm -hmm. it, it looks crisp like the original Chargers. Right. So that's why I, I look at it, I'm like, okay, the stylist finally got it right. It, it doesn't look like it needs Weight Watchers, right? Mm -hmm. Even though it does. It's, it's, it's insanely heavy, but it doesn't look insanely heavy. Um, I don't hate the gasoline version of it. I don't even hate the EV version Benjamin of it, to tell you the truth. I don't hate it. Benjamin C. says, I was thinking a gas version with the Turbo 6. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's what I would take it to the track. I'd... I'd, I'd run around with it, but I'm not into it. See, like, it was like, I, I don't feel compelled to go get my, like, doesn't make any sense, I'm just not interested. 
I wish I was interested, but I'm not. I have difficulty imagining long-term maintenance of EVs. No regular owner will be able to keep them running. No, of course not. But see, that's, that holds true for anything gasoline-powered these days, too. Mm -hmm. Anything built in the last, let's say, since 2015, 2018, in that range, is not repairable. Mm -hmm. They're built deliberately. They're, they're overstuffed with overlapping computers and, and, and things of that nature deliberately to keep them from being serviceable long haul, long term. Well, Joe Kay says, can't wait for the Hemi swaps to commence as these things get out in the world. That would take a long time, right? Because it's, yeah, it's hard to imagine anybody going out and spending like, yeah, like the $60,000 or so for that car and yeah. then just ripping out the motor and throwing a Hellcat swap in there. I mean, something like 20 years or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's a lot of guys out there with more, more money than they know what to do with and they'll just go ahead and do it for shits and giggles but mm -hmm. man it, it'll be it'll be 10 years before something like that becomes mainstream and honestly i don't think the cars have been around long enough yeah i don't think the cars have been around long enough mm. i don't think dodge is going to be around long enough right it's quick it's like so there are things going on lots of stuff with with with, with, with warranty issues with markup issues with Dealerships pulling all kinds of crazy stuff. Like there's a lot of things, there's a lot of compounding problems around the whole Dodge brand. And and the thing with the Charger is just like the tip of the iceberg. Mm -hmm. But but the Dodge is down to the Durango, mm -hmm. okay? And and the Hornet, they sold nine thousand six hundred and something, like I think the number is nine thousand six hundred and thirty Hornets last year. That like, like literally that's like they didn't sell any, they might as well just not have sold. So that car's non existent. And now that the Challenger and the Charger are gone, and they're going to be replaced by this Charger, really it's one car that they're banking this whole division on, and they just don't see it. They're going to see it happen. Benjamin C. says, I completely agree. I was thinking it would be good YouTube content. Lots of people will be searching it, no? Yeah, but, but our people aren't searching it. Our people are hands-on Yeah, they're heads. watching it, though, because it's interesting. You have to, you still can look at it, you know? Any Mopar person is going to look at it. Yes, any Mopar person is going to look at it, but there are people who, see, here, okay, so here's the thing, right? There are people who are, who are going to be enthusiastic about working with a car like that, and they're going to produce much better content with it than I will, mm -hmm. because I'm just not into it, you know what I mean? It's like, if I was, if I was in a position, like, let's, let's, say, I, let's say I had a, a, a job and I had to commute with that job, okay? And I needed a, a car, just a car, something I was gonna work with or tinker with, or you know, just transportation. Well, in that situation, yeah, I'd go, I would go lease one, right? Um, and use it for that purpose. But I don't have that purpose. I, I, have, I have way too many vehicles to drive back and forth to my shop. I don't, so, so having a car like that around just isn't. Hmm. Let's see, Mike Hoffman says, Mopar is designed for fuel efficiency at the of long-term durability. It's not just fuel efficiency. They're deliberately making these things, you know, they're playing to obsolescence. They're deliberately making them so that they, they're not survivable and not repairable. Uh, Jonathan Fernando says, Hi, UTG. I'm quite new to your channel, which I love, by the way. Thank you. I just wanted to ask you, what's your thoughts on piezoelectric crystals for fuel ignition? Did I say that right? I, I don't I don't have any thoughts. I don't know enough about it. No. No. You don't know. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, let's see. I think the Hornet SC was quite sexy. Andrew Button says. I would be lying. I can't picture that. Uh, yeah, I, I was just gonna say I would be lying if if I if I. Uh, let me see what it looks like. <laughs> What's it called? The Hornet SC. Hang on. Yeah, the Hornet SC. Hornet SC. Somebody's looking for it. Images. Well, all I'm getting is uh, old Hornets. Wait, I don't know what year. Tell me another live with Dave Hakem soon. I haven't talked to Dave in like a couple of months. Oh, I, 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 I got to get a hold of him. David Hakeem. Yeah, Hakeem. Yeah, he used to be Dave Hakem. Now he's David Hakim. Sorry, Dave. He's embraced his Middle Eastern roots. I pronounced your name wrong. 
Yeah, all I'm seeing here is is, is the older Hornet. Okay. I'm not seeing. Uh, well, what's that one right there? Oh, what's this one right here? Dodge Hornet for sale. Mm -hmm. It it doesn't say. It's got that like big grill thing in the front. I yeah, it's like weird that. looking. It's yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. You don't like it? No. No, I don't like those huge grills. Well, Tony, you still playing around with propane conversions? Worked on the. I I coupled the engine and transmission together today. I got all of that done, that's sitting on the floor, and tomorrow I'm going to work on the actual car. Okay. Let's see. Andrew Button says, I need the 1971 SC360, not some new crap. Oh, those are awesome. <laughs> oh, I love, oh, you're talking about older Hornets. I love them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, it's, no those are great. Stupid UTG. <laughs> oh, I, th I thought it was something new you were talking about. Yeah, me too. Yeah, because we were on the t subject of the new right, morning. Yeah. Right. Uh, Tony, you going to Maple Grove for the new Prep Kings in April? No. No, no, no planned trips to the Northeast. No. No. Zero planned trips to the Northeast. Mm -hmm. And if an unplanned trip comes up to the Northeast, yeah. I'll turn it down. <laughs> because I'm not going to the Northeast. Oh, Ralph Salantano says, thoughts on the Polaris 1000cc twin? <laughs> it doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> my my a thoughts chance. on the Polaris uh, <laughs> twin do, is that it doesn't, it does not stand a chance. <laughs> and in fact, I'm, I'm, let's see, currently waiting back for, uh, no, I haven't heard from him yet. <laughs> He's trying to buy another Jeep. Yeah. Pretending to be me. <clears throat> yep. Um, let's see. I live in the Northeast, unsubscribed. There you go. No. Here's one of the no, six. Another one of the six, yeah. <coughs> I lived in the Northeast. I survived the Northeast, so one I can talk shit about the Northeast. Right. Oh, you do have a message, though. Click Where? on that. See? Up top. Oh, yes. What do we got? <laughs> he sent a message. Yeah. I have a message. Ten new messages. It says well, ten new messages. What are the new messages? What does that say? No? <laughs> no, I won't okay. take that amount. No, there's no title. <laughs> but that was something different. Oh, okay. So yeah. he's trying to buy something else. Okay. Mm. All right. There's no, nothing new? It said 10 messages. Well, that, I know it says 10 messages, but it's not 13 messages. How many people are you messaging? Uh, what are you buying? What the hell is this? This is old. No. What is it? Sent 11 hours ago. Oh, that's the guy that wants to buy the seat. Oh, uh, okay. sure. Did you get the red x jig running? No, I haven't touched it. Okay. I've been busy with other things. We have a red x jig? Yes! I'm the so confused. The five-speed one. That <laughs> so confused. <laughs> Mission Mission Improbable. Oh, right. 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 No, I, I got it. I, it's off the trailer. It's in. Um, Dr. Art has the computer. He's working on the computer. Evidently, there's a problem fixing right. that computer. Okay, I'm so confused with the number of XJs we have. I don't even know what we have right we now. We have four. We only have four. <laughs> but we have two red ones. But one is kind of like. Did I? No, one, one is, is chili pepper. One is chili pepper red, and the other one is yeah, red, one's red red. Okay? I forgot that you bought a red one. Up to we him. only have four. It's not like it's not like we have a ridiculous number of XJs. Four is a lot. No, it's not. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Zero's laughing. We only have four. Yeah. <laughs> How many XJs do you want? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what happened? Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um But clearly I need a fifth. You don't. To do this challenge with. You don't. Yes, I do. Yeah, we fell again. <laughs> I'm not drunk. No, I have to try and keep this up using like a a pad. I should show them. And paper. Yeah, wait, I want to I wanna show them. I can't them. get it to stand straight enough to get Tony right in the frame. It leans back too much. But you got to you gotta bring the... No. Hang on, I, I want to show them. No. Just no, leave what? me alone. 
Wait, hang on. I want to show them. I want to show them the one that, that I, I tried to buy and oh. I want stupid money for it. What is it? The, uh, oh, the white one. Yeah, yeah. Addiction one. It's only has an extra addiction wheel. Here it is. I have to turn it. It's gonna wait, fall. Wait, I gotta get. I gotta get the listing up. Yeah. Okay. Here. Hang on. Hang on. I'm moving. Can you guys see it? Hang on. So. Oh, there. Yeah, so I saw this and I got all excited because it says this is the one I need for the challenge. Because it's it's already look, can you see that? It's perfect. It's perfect. Can you see that? <laughs> you wanted to buy this. Yeah, I tried to buy it. Right? <laughs> and I'm thinking I'm thinking, okay, like if this guy says like five hundred bucks, I will run over there right now and just grab it. Because it's 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 perfect. It's the most perfect Yes, yeah, perfect. <laughs> it, well, perfect for the purpose. Yeah. Perfect for the purpose. And he wants twelve fifty for it. The twelve hundred. He wants twelve hundred for it. These people are nuts. They're absolutely nuts. Yeah, that is a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, there you go. Hang on, I gotta turn. Wait. I don't wanna. Yes, it's perfect. Mm. Hang on, I gotta. You're blurry now. Okay. Now, so, now I don't want to use one of my other one of my other XJs because at the end of the challenge it's going to look like that. So I want to start with something that looks like that. So when I finish, it'll still look like that. Pull to the left a bit. <laughs> that don't bother me. No little bowlers. I know what I've got. Twelve hundred bucks. That's a lot of money for that. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I've noticed that in Tennessee sometimes things are very highly priced. Have you noticed that? No, now we bought, okay, we have four others. No okay. dreamers are tired. <laughs> we have four others and we didn't pay $1,000, more than $1,000 for any of them. Yeah. So how is that one 1200 I don't know. So. Tires are expensive. I don't know, da uh, It's worth 12 bucks, John M says. Yeah, no, but that, I, I would have, if he had said like 500 even like 600 I would have been like, Done, right? I would have been on there on the way there with the trailer. So what is he asking so much for? What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. That's a lot, right? It's a lot. So so I'm, I'm working on uh, I'm working on others. I'm working on others. Mm. It's twelve hundred because you want it, Tony. He didn't know who I, I I don't I don't send messages under my name. He doesn't know who I am. Mm -hmm. Hello star seven seven eight seven. Yes. I knew they were going to show up. You did? They're always stalking me. Uh, Thunderbird, 1968. Anyone coming to the NHRA Rocky Mountain Nationals here in Alberta? No. No. Does it have sentimental value? <laughs> it has sentimental value? I hear them chewing something outside. Do you want to check and see what they're I'm going to check what it's chewing outside. Yeah. He'll be right back. It's just an empty chair for a second. Oh, she's eating a box. Oh, good. Is there anything in there? T-shirts. Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, hi. All right. Don't knock over. Hi. Hi. Don't knock over the uh, iPad. Uh, it's the new sofa cushion. Where did you go? You're supposed to be back. Uh, very light use. Ran great until it didn't. Dogs love to get into things that are no. They do. Yeah. I heard dogs that like to eat diapers. Yeah. I've heard that. Yeah, they like to eat. That's how you do the dog. <laughs> What's up, Dr. Art? Sorry about that. You know, they, they say you only rent the ginger ale. <laughs> Dr. Art's here. Dr. Art, what's happening, brother man? I, uh, I'm, try I'm trying to find a weapon for our challenge. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm actively on it. I'm actively on it. When can we expect the podcast, Tony? Oh, jeez. Let's be working on that this month. Well, I actually did message a couple of local podcasters that I want to powwow with mm -hmm. yesterday. And they, yeah. they've been busy soon. Everybody's soon. busy. The answer is soon. Mm -hmm. Yes. I guess I'm doing the check for that, too. I'm afraid so. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's go. 
So those are my priorities at the moment. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm Tony Mopar and I drive an XJ. Well, who makes them? It says Chrysler on every sticker I can find on it. So I guess mm. it's a Mopar. Um, Tony, if you could choose one muscle car from back in the day other than a Mopar, what are you going with? See, that's such a tough question because I, if you ask me, like if I answer that question now and I think about it in 10 minutes, I'll give you a different answer. And then in 10 minutes after that, I'll give you yet a different answer. And I'll probably name 10 different cars before, you know, the show is over. So 
I don't really have, I don't really have one. I don't really have one. No. Tony is a closeted Buick guy. I do love Buicks. I do love Buicks. I always have, but there are other cars that I like too. I, you know, can't answer that question. He did like the T-types. I, yes, I love the T-types. I'm not, the Grand National is okay. I like the T-type. I like it. It's just, the Grand National is just too obvious mm -hmm. where the T-type is like stealth. Mm -hmm. I like stealthy things. Stealth. Stealth. Stuff that doesn't look like it's supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, Clayton's Toolbox, have you ever seen an Offy Tunnel Ram with a single car? I found yes. one like this, but not sure that will work okay. It was very common. Yes. Back in the day. Even the Wyan, Wyans have like the, the interchangeable tops. So you get the dual four or the single. Mm -hmm. She wants to play ball. <laughs> she throws it. <laughs> and she barks at it. Well, she's barking at me to yeah, get the ball. <laughs> That's her throwing the ball. <laughs> Funny. Show them. Oh, I don't know. She's gonna do it now. Probably not. Winnie, what are you doing? Winnie, get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, but she doesn't to ring the bell. Yeah, what's the thing you're holding? Winnie, throw it. Winnie, throw the ball. What is she doing now? She's hiding her head. She doesn't, she doesn't like being on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Where did she put the ball? She hit it somewhere. It, she put it on top of the thing. Oh, so it falls off and she yeah. can catch it. <laughs> That's what she's waiting for. She's waiting for it to fall off so she can catch it. Oh, my goodness. I guess I go grab it. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, now you now look what you've done. <laughs> this is like my kids. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, what, Maggie? You want to come up here? Ball, yeah. You want to come up here? Come here. Come here. Um, Rare and PA did your Mustang wind up before it was crushed. Oh. You would know that. I want to say it was like Mechanicsburg or some shit like I that. I don't remember. I, I don't remember. Yeah. I, I know it said which salvage yard it was. Right. But that was on an old laptop that we had, and I saved it. But this then I ended ago. up throwing yeah. it out because like, it was a really old laptop, and I just never wrote down the information. Because I was like, oh, well, it's gone. Why would I save that? Um, boy, if I ever saw a dog with an offset bearing, that's one of them. An offset bearing? I don't know. No, she's brilliant. <laughs> she's just, she's a puppy. She's, yeah, she's, she's nine months old. Yeah. So it's like, it's like, she looks big. She looks like, you know, old full grown, but she's, she's just she's, nine no, she's months. No, she's not nine months yet. No, not, not yet. Yeah, she's eight, eight months and change. Eight yeah. and a half months. So, yeah, no, she's doing pretty good for what she is. She already has one title. Yeah. Yeah. She said it's her first trip title. It's coming in the mail. She'll be here any day. Um, still have the VIN? Yeah, I have the VIN. PA records aren't always accurate. Oh, I don't know. It was from a government website. And it was the only one that actually gave accurate records and said that the car was crushed at that location and the date that it was crushed. So, I don't know. Um, let's see. How much is gas in Tennessee? Dr. Uh, Art says it's 309. Yeah, I was just going to say that. I think it just paid 309. Yeah. But it's up. It was like two. It wasn't at two seventies. I mean, it just falls up mm -hmm. to three hundred nine. Let's see, 
Do you know Canada Dry has different ingredients in the U.S. than Canada? The ingredients are a bit better in Canada. Really? You don't say. <laughs> I don't know. It's all corn. Syrup. Yeah, it's all it's all crap. It's all crap. It's all crap. It's all it's all it'll kill you. What are you looking at, Maggie? What do I do? Mm. Are you mean? Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Doing? Uh, pick him up, Maggie. She doesn't want you to pick her up. No, she was just drowning her dog. Oh, my God. She's drowning her dog. Let's go. Let's go. Outside. Get outside. Go outside. Oh, poor Darla. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. She, she gets so vicious. The hill times, yeah. <laughs> Maggie's teeth, yeah. This goes on all the time. This is kind of thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pet her, and she's soaking wet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna spit. Yeah. Maybe had a lot of spit. Well, enough of that, right? Yeah. I like it when cats play King of the Hill. Um, oh, poor Darla. I know, but you have to put it down before I can open the door. They are cute. Maggie looks very little. Oh, <laughs> Maggie looks huge. <laughs> we, we, have a, we have a picture of them sitting. Yeah. Do you have the picture handy? It's on my Facebook. Well, oh, no, it's the video. The video. No, I have a picture of them sitting on the couch. That one? Uh, yeah, there's that one, but there's also the video where Maggie's all like proud. <laughs> she's, she's sitting next to the puppy. Proud and she's like all like super proud. <laughs> for you guys that for you guys who don't know, Maggie adopted Winnie when she was six weeks old as her puppy. So this is a mother-daughter relationship going on here. <laughs> I'm not sure they care. <laughs> Shh. Shh. You're barking. Where's your ball? Go get your ball. Go get it. Canine difficulties. Please stand by. Yeah. I'm scrolling. No, I just go to my photos. Photos. Yeah. So, the woman, she's a puppy, Tony? Yeah. A baby? Yeah. They're sitting next to each other on the couch. Yeah. Yeah, okay. They're cute, right? <laughs> yeah. Now you're blurry. Darla next. Yeah, Darla gets attacked. She can't. Yeah. Yeah. Shush. Maggie will attack Darla. Oh. My grandma had a beagle too. Nothing scared her. Eat <coughs> snakes. What breeds are they? Oh, okay, so Maggie is a beagle and Winnie is a border collie. <sighs> Maggie's fearless. Like, just literally, just absolutely fearless. <coughs> Winnie looks a lot like Peanut over at Moore. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I. Maggie's king of the hell, I don't know. <laughs> Maggie is king of the hell. Maggie's, Maggie's the boss. <sighs> okay, so... On an Edelbrock 14-something? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, she She's sees herself. She's watching herself. <laughs> <laughs> On an Edelbrock <laughs> what? They don't like low-key the you don't know who he's talking to. <laughs> Are you talking to you? No. I think dogs are the best companions. They are. They don't really get tired. Hmm. Do you 
sit them inside, Tony? It's distracting. Is it distracting? A little bit. Maggie, you want to go inside? Mm -hmm. Well, she's happy. She's she smiling. Attack Darla. She goes. Oh. Uh, Don't let her bark in here. It's too loud. Maggie has a lot of tolerance. Yeah. Just like her mom. Come on, you get down. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, she, Maggie adopted Winnie when she was six weeks old, and that was it. Ever since then, that's her puppy. That's her. She's, she protects her. She, it's ridiculous. She wants to do anything to her. It's very funny. She drags her around the house. Yeah, Winnie just drags, drags <laughs> Maggie around like a stuffed animal. <laughs> and Maggie's just like, okay. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> that's why Maggie doesn't have a collar on. Yeah, she can't wait. Oh, all right, come on. Let's go. We're going to go inside. Come on. More cookies? Evie's will tack the, tack the grid flat. Mm. Oh, come on, those cookies. You don't want cookies? Come on. Oh. 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 The dogs are the best content of your channel, thanks. <laughs> That's awesome. Technical difficulties, please stand by. You notice Winnie backs off for Maggie growls. Yeah, they're playing. They're playing. I don't get why people spend thousands of dollars on therapy when they could just buy a dog. It's very true. It's really true. Like, I train Winnie, like, if I get, like, overwhelmed with stuff, I'll be like, oh, shit. I'll just take her and I'll, I'll train her outside for a while. I was trying to keep Winnie out, but she snuck in. Dogs eating cheese. I know. I did have video that I could string together of Winnie and put it on dogs eating cheese. We need to do a dog channel. Start filming her tricks and stuff that she knows how to do. I could do that. I can put that up. It's no big deal. It's just a matter of time at this point. Time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always doing something until I pass out. Like right before this, I was printing t-shirts. So it's like, and folding t-shirts and packaging t-shirts. One of the reasons I'm moving to North Carolina is what? I don't know. Do you have any videos of your top fuel days? I mean, there's some VHS stuff. But there was, there was before there was internet. It was before everything. It's I ridiculous. I have one on a DVD. Of when we went to Akko with your car, and my sister was there, and Dominic was there. You have that one? It's on DVD, somewhere. Can, can you play it on here? I can't because that computer doesn't have a slot for DVD. So. We had VHS. No. So th there are VHS tapes. I have it on DVD. Somebody transferred it to me, but I would have to get a DVD player, I guess, and then. I don't know. Maybe you give it to somebody and they can just put it on a give it to them. a file for me and I can put it on the computer. I have to find it. Doctor Art could probably do that. I have to find it. It's somewhere in the house. She's throwing you the ball. Right. Dog's gone. Now back to boredom. <laughs> These yours are up. Yeah, we. I was looking for one. I think because we have all those old tapes. They want to look at the bucks. <laughs> For VCR, $100? Really? <laughs> the first one we bought was like 800 bucks. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> it's like all of our money. Um, I love dragsters. I just wish people would race them here in Italy. Ah. Is there no racing in Italy? No, there's a drag racing scene in Italy. I, they probably don't have any dragsters, though. I mean, that, that oh, yeah, we were watching drag racing either. in Italy, and we were like, that's really nice. <laughs> we should go yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, that guy with the Roadrunner, the red Roadrunner. Oh, yeah. And that helmet. Bruno. Bruno. Something. Bruno something or other. Yeah. No, there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a decent drag racing scene in Italy, from what I understand. But there was this one Roadrunner, the 69 Roadrunner. This guy has gorgeous helmet it was it was red with gold like graphics on it and stuff it was just very he's on my facebook is he really i can't remember his name yeah, yeah. Um, let's see do you think a volvo 850 goe 
could be a good dragster? I don't know enough about them. I don't know enough about them. Anything could be a good drag car. It's just how much effort you want to put into it. And as far as like a bracket car, literally anything can be a bracket car. Yeah. I had one dog, Storm, that was a wizard. She would eat the cheese and spit out the pill. Yeah. Nice, nice. She's throwing herself the ball. Yeah. That's the sound you hear in the background. That's the bouncing. would be good in demolition, undestructible. We finally see the 68 Roadrunner in action this year. Yes, I know. I said the same thing last year. We'll take any year before. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. We will. We will. Stretch shopping cart with a Predator motor. <laughs> She's too cute. Yeah, I get another life from Tony. Oh, was it, I think she lost her ball. Did you lose your ball? Yeah. Do you want me to get your ball? The dog is throwing the ball to herself. Um, Tony, please do a gasser build with a nice, big, mean front end 1940s car. No, no, Sledgehammer is as close to that as we're going to get. I'm very happy with the car. I love everything about it. I don't want to change anything. It's perfect. And that's all the gas are we need. <laughs> cracking me up. What's up? Oh. She's throwing the balls. Cracking me up. Okay. Oh, let's see. Booba? Booba? Any car can be a great dragster with a welder and determination. That's the truth. Tony, did you do any research on hunting gear sets? I didn't have to do any research. I got the answer to that, and it's it's brilliant. I mean, it's I'm, Jeff Hutchins. Jeff Hutchins, yeah. yes. It, it, it answers a question that I never asked. But mm -hmm. there it is. Tony, may I ask what it would take to make a car reach 200 miles per hour for land speed? What it takes? I'm, I, oh, I, okay, I know that there are power calculators, but you have to know what the aerodynamic characteristics of it are. Um, it's hard. Land speed racing is a lot harder than people realize because you're, you're racing on either the dry lake, or like El Mirage, or on the salt, and there's really no traction there. So r regardless of whether you have traction or not, it still takes X amount of horsepower to push X amount of wind. So land speed racing is actually much, much harder than it would seem. Like you say, well, you go, okay, a car will go 200 miles an hour on a quarter mile. You know, why will it only go, you know, 160 on the salt? Because you know, it's, it's two completely different animals. So those, those guys who go fast, with, with like piston engines on the salt, they're 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 amazing. They're doing amazing friggin' things, but I, I don't know enough about, you know, I don't know enough about the science of it. Mm -hmm. Tony, what is it? Do you think a VW bus with a camper top would be good for a land speed racing? <laughs> It, yeah, I put a rocket in it, you know, and there, there's, there's a class for everything, literally. Have you ever been to the Salt Flats? I have not. I've been to El Mirage, but I've never been to the, to the Salt Flats. Um, Tony, I don't see any motorcycles in your shop. Have you hung up riding? No, no, I've got, I've got three of them here. I've got, my, I've got my two Sportsters and the Super Cub here, and I have that little Yamaha. It really belongs to my kid, but I've got that over at one of my storage units. So I just don't have any room for the stuff at the shop. Uh, Tony, do you think liquids could substitute piston rods to drive the crankshaft? You mean a hydraulic motor? To, I, it's been done, but I, I it's something I don't know anything about. Uh, Fuzzy Fireman says, picking up a slant six from a truck 
in the bush 100 miles away, going to rebuild it, and I will turn the pistons around. Okay. It will go into a front engine buggy. Nice. Nice. Have fun with that. See, that's a nice, cheap, easy project. Corvette is what you want on the salt, according to my sensibilities. Well, your sensibilities, but what about your reality, though? How successful are Corvettes on the salt, and which years, you know, which which model of Corvette is the most successful? Just because aerodynamics work on pavement does not mean that those aerodynamics are going to work on the salt. What are your thoughts on roll racing? I kind of get it. I kind of get it. See, to me, uh, all right, so, so in, in my perfect world, the drag strip would be a foot long, right? I, in my mind, every, what, where are you, where are you with? Nothing. Oh, she's shredding on. In my perfect world, the drag strip would be a foot long because that's, that's the most difficult part of the whole thing. So if you can master that, right, then everything else kind of like, as long as it doesn't fall apart, you know what I mean? It's like the rest of it just kind of falls in place, which is why the 60 foot is so important in, in overall the car's performance. So, so given that sensibility that I have, wheel racing is kind of like, it's out of my, like I don't, I don't, I don't disagree with it, but it's just not my cup of tea. He's saying the dog out Roll racing is starting from a certain speed, which is kind of hard to do and get right, slash even. It's, a, it's an unprecision form of racing. So you're going to go for a 30 mile an hour roll, it's like, is somebody going 31? You know what I mean? Are you both hitting the gas at the same? It's, a, it's, an, it's an imprecise thing. It's a very imprecise thing. Talking to each other. Good. Or if you're moving too fast. Um, are Corvette style brakes mounted on the axle better than wheel mounted brakes? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, the, Cor the, the, the Jaguars had them like that. Um, no, if, if that was the thing, then everybody would have adopted it. They're going nuts out there. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you want to do about it? I don't know. Just hang on. Uh, goals for 2024? Survive. Survive? Yeah. My, my goal for 2024 is to see 2025. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. That's, that's, that's about as straightforward as I can get. Mm. Let's see. Inboard brakes are probably harder to package on, on the car. I don't know if they have the same cooling characteristics. You know, I mean, there's airflow under the car, but it's unpredictable airflow where there's predictable airflow and directable airflow behind the wheel. So, there's that. How long did you want to go tonight? But as long as you want to go. We're an hour and a half in. I know. That was fast. <laughs> I know. All right, we'll, we'll keep going a little bit. Whenever you feel like pulling a plug, you say, you say, I'm done, I'm done with you. <laughs> Uh, let's hope we have a country after 2020. I hope so. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Who <laughs> we knows? don't know. <laughs> let's see. Um, what are axle mountain brakes? What are they? Inboard mountain brakes. So it, it would be like on an independent, like an independent rear suspension car. So you'd have the center section and you have the two axles going out. Instead of the brakes being mounted at the outboard part of the axles, at the wheels, they're mounted actually right at the center section. So the brakes are here and the wheels are here. That's what that is. I broke up the Beatles? No, I didn't. What happened? I broke up the Beatles. You could have. No. If you were a little bit older. No. I think you were like, what, four when they broke up? What year did they break up? 1970. 70? Yeah. Well, 69, really, but 70 three. was like... I was three. 
So now everybody knows how old I am. I don't care. I remember when the Beatles broke up. You do? Yes. I don't remember. And I remember very specifically a show that was on, it was on a Sunday night, it was a special, it was like a two hour long special. Yeah. And they, they like, they preempted all of the regular Sunday night programming. Uh huh. And it was a thing on, is Paul dead? Oh really? Yes. Yeah. This I was on like, that. it was on one of the networks, either NBC, ABC or CBS, because that's all there was at that time. And uh, yeah, it was a whole hour long special on all of the, uh, all of the, 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 the the proofs and, and, and the evidence that he was dead and that, that he wasn't dead. That was in 19, that had to be 1970. Yeah, I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> I think I remember they pointed, they made me look at the television while the, the moon landing was going on. I can briefly All remember right. that. Okay, okay. I remember my parents being like, look at that. And I looked and I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. So, now you're talking about... Okay. I was like three. Right? Three. So. I was about right. to be three. So, I just saw this the other night. Couldn't sleep, right? And I was like, I just stayed up later than I usually do. I was flipping, flipping. And there was a guy. There's a guy. Okay, so here's what you need to know. Right? Oh boy, are we going to talk about the moon landing? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Uh, I shouldn't have brought it up. <laughs> Actually, I was just, just had this conversation with Ralph yesterday oh. on the way back from the trails. Oh my and goodness. No, no, no. This is, this is good. Okay. So uh, my stance has Can always been... Can we talk been, about this on YouTube? Yeah. All right. Yeah. My stance on it has always been, and really, honestly, back, back, even back when it happened, uh -huh. my stance on, on the moon landing was, I don't think that it happened, but I'm not going to say that it didn't. Uh-huh. Okay? Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not like one of those, oh, the moon landing was a hoax. I think it was a hoax. I'm not saying that it was. All right, so you have to understand, right? What I think and what I what I believe, you know, two different things, right? right. Or, or or what I would say, I know. Yeah. So, here's I found I watched something very very interesting. Mm. <laughs> That's in favor of the moon hoax, okay? And you guys can go watch this yourself, and you watch this, and then you tell me what you think after I I, I describe this to you, okay? So, mysteriously, all of the television broadcasts from that day, July 11th, 1969, all of the television broadcasts have been missing, destroyed, right? Like they don't exist. So you can't find the live feed, which is something I very clearly remember watching because I was, I was nine years old, I was seven years old. So I remember, I remember watching it on TV. Okay, everybody, the whole world watched this on TV. So, but mysteriously, all that footage is gone, okay? So, footage from NASA too? Yeah, all the TV that, coverage. Okay. The TV coverage from okay. NASA everything. is gone. gone. Okay, everything gone, right? So there's this guy who restores videotapes. Mm. And he found on eBay a guy that was selling a videotape that was supposedly of the television broadcast, the NBC broadcast from that day, right? So it was the whole thing. And like they put it on a video? Two hours. Though? They put it on, it was because on a that video. Was filmed. Yes. It would have been filmed. No, this right. is on video. Okay. It was a magnetic tape. This was, it wasn't on real tape. You know, on, on, okay. No, it wasn't a regular film. It was magnetic tape. So this guy restores old machinery, you know, old, old videotape stuff mm -hmm. and old videotapes. Okay. So he, he sees this copy of what's supposed to be the moon landing coverage on eBay. And he bids on it. He wins it. And they send it to him, okay? Mm -hmm. And the whole time he's doubtful because he doesn't believe... How much believe. was it? Was it expensive? I don't know. He didn't say. He didn't say what he paid for. Okay. So he goes through this whole thing. Half the video is him going through this painstaking process of making sure the machine is right, that the video is right, and, and you know, it's clean, and, it's, and he goes through all of these procedures, right? Mm -hmm. And then he plays it. So, and it is what it purports to be. It's the actual broadcast, the NBC broadcast... Of the entire moon landing thing. So How that, does he know, though? Did he see the original one? Oh, I mean, you can't miss it. It's it's there's there's no doubt. I mean, it's it's the NBC studio. It's the NBC anchors from that period of time. It's you can't miss it. It's, okay. it's legit. All right. It's like it, it, there's no way this could be fake. So here's here's what happened. Okay. So you guys are all familiar with that whole um, this one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, right? You know, you know that whole, but nobody ever gets to what came like before that. 
And what came before that is really freaking weird, okay, if, if the moon landing is right. So here's what happens, right? They go through the whole thing, this whole spiel about, you know, the, 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 all their procedures to get this thing on the ground and then, like, put the ladder down or whatever it happened to be, the, that whole deal. So then uh, Neil Armstrong is, is talking as he's, as he's going through the procedure. And he's talking very, very normal. And before he says that whole one small step for mankind thing, he's like, he's describing the lunar surface. He's describing um, the color of it, the texture of it. Um, he puts his foot down on it, okay? And he said he describes the footprint and he describes the, the, all of this stuff. But he's doing it so matter-of-factly, okay? that it's, it's out of place. And if you're a conspiracy, if you believe, if you lean towards a moon landing conspiracy thing, this is evidence. Because here's how I look at this. This is why I look at it. You could be the most stoic person on earth, right? I mean, literally the most stoic, matter of fact person on earth, right? That's, that's ever lived in the history of our species, okay? But now I just stuck you on a rocket and shot you to another planet. And now you're getting off this thing, and you don't know that you're even going to make it back. Okay, you have no idea that you're going to make it back. Bumper says he's a military guy. It's how we are when we are on a mission. You're wrong, bro. You're wrong. It, you, it, listen, you I understand... think military guys are like that on a mission? I think they are. No, I understand stoicism. I get it, okay? But th there was zero, zero reaction, Okay. For all he knows, he's on a suicide mission, okay? Actually, there's a good chance it's a suicide mission. The way he's nonchalantly describing everything is not characteristic. I don't care who you are. I don't care how what you've seen. I don't care what you've done. There is no way you could be in that situation and be describing things in such an even tone, right? There's like... You have to watch it and listen to it. It's out of place. When you consider where he is and what he's doing, right, and you match that with the tone of his voice and, and like, just the way he's describing things, it doesn't match. It doesn't match. So I, I thought that was very interesting. And, and, and you say, well, why did these tapes disappear? You know what I mean? It's like, well, you know, how is it? No, okay, so you have this, the most important event in human history, you know? But yet... Like, you can't find broadcasts of it. How many times says men were men then? No. I tend to believe that that's possible. That no. you can describe something like that. No, I'm telling you. Everybody yeah. reacts to things differently. Yes, know? agreed. Everybody reacts to things. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not expecting them to be like, wee or, or anything like that. I'm not expect. But there's going to be a... He's not going to sound like you're just casually sitting across a table just just describing the texture of you're not you're not going to look at the minutiae like that it, 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 in that moment you're about to step out of this thing that just shot you across the onto this barren landscape that you've never been to before that everything is like and be that level there's just no way there's just no way james bond couldn't pull that off no you don't think so no no yeah. I don't know. I was only two. So. Yeah, it, but Almost three. you say, well, why did all of these these tapes disappear? I didn't know they disappeared until you just said it. Well, this that's what made this whole unique. But I mean, that's not my thing. I don't like uh, follow it. That's what made this whole situation so unique, and that he did, actually did find a video recording of this, mm -hmm. and he was able to watch the whole thing through. And then there was another thing too. They had. Um, so it says Neil was like that. He was a fighter pilot. He nearly got taken out by the lander trainer, and he was matter-of-fact about that, too. So, my grandfather was a pilot, uh -huh. and he was very quiet and very subdued and, like, barely talked. And, like, when he did talk, he talked, like, really calmly. Like, really calmly. So, I don't know. Maybe I can see that maybe that's that type of personality. Because he was a fighter pilot. It's in the moment. You see, the moment... Yeah, but the, their personality, his personality was really 
kind of strange. He didn't really talk to anyone. I, no, I, I get that. I get that. But in the moment, in a moment like that, okay, your adrenaline is pumping. Okay, no matter what no, you do. No, they don't let their adrenaline pump like that. That's not something you have any control over. No, they go in a different type of zone. You can keep yourself in a zone. You can keep yourself relatively level, but you're not going to be completely level. You're in an unusual environment. You're in the most unusual environment, the most unnatural environment that ever existed. Then you can keep yourself calm, but you can't keep yourself completely... They have to be, like, I mean, if you think about it, fire pilots have to be completely calm all the time. <laughs> That's their job. Doesn't work they like wouldn't that. be able to be fire pilots if they weren't able to do that. It doesn't work like that. It okay, doesn't it's, work like it's that. Not much, it's not much Not different. everyone is the same. It's Tony not... Neal wasn't Italian, just saying. I was just thinking that, Benjamin C. <laughs> I was just Hey! hey. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> Look at this planet! Hey! <laughs> I think that you just don't understand that type of person. <coughs> I get it. Like I understand what you're saying, but I think that you don't really know that those types of people exist. Oh, My nice. grandfather was one of them, and I can vouch for the fact that he was different. Sweetheart. I, I've known many people who were slim and Sammy Miller was like that. Right, okay. Okay? And it, as stoic and as level as you could possibly be. Mm -hmm. But you get him at the at the finish line, mm -hmm. okay? After he pulled off one of these fucking runs, he's not like that. He's not like that. He's move he's, he's talking fast, he's moving fast. Oh it's, yeah, no, no, no. I mean no. My grandma, All right, if you say so, if you say so if you say so. Very uh, disciplined, you know. I think people come in all different types, and you have to be a certain personality to be able to do that. You know? I I Not agree. I agree with you on the range of personality types. Yeah. I don't believe that you could be in that situation, the first person ever in that situation. Not with all of the question marks ahead of you, like, am I going to even ever get off this friggin' rock? Oh, here, here's a good one. Listen to Sully as he ditches his plane into the Hudson. Like, those pilots, him in particular, is very calm and cool and collected. You just you do what you have to do. Like, I don't know. I, I'd like to have somebody who's familiar with psychology mm. really... Get in there, because I'm. I'm just saying it doesn't matter. They don't give that job to everybody. I'm Fighter not, pilot. They. That, not everybody gets that. Job. I'm not saying that he. I'm not saying that the guy would be freaking out and mm. jumping for you know or 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 panic or anything like that. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, he's way too stoic about the whole thing. Unnaturally. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Unnaturally Jeff stoic. says rare occurrence. Gonna have to go against Tony on this one. I agree. I'm okay. going against. I'm going against you on that. Like, right. there are people, they're cut from a different cloth, and they're completely different than you would imagine. I've known a lot of those people. And in a lot of situations, I've been that person. Fighter, pli fighter pilots? Fighter pilots. Well, drag racers are not much different. Mm, they're different. They're different. Okay. I get you, you tee the psych as aspect. Yeah. Yeah, there's, I'm telling you. The, the just tonality, just cadence, this it doesn't match. It doesn't match. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say that fighter pilots are different than regular folks. Uh, he had an IQ of one thirty nine. They're usually very smart. Uh, Tony, what's the fastest speed you have ever gone? I'm interested to know. I, I think I got a speeding ticket for like 65 and a 50. Is that what you did? Something like that. Yeah. Memphis says drag racers are a lot different. I worked on planes in the USAF. I knew crews. The pilots were always laid back, matter of fact, even when they almost got zeroed out. Yeah. I see that. I'll tell you what. You, I just told you what, 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 what it was, right? Do a simple search and watch the video yourself. And just after, we'll, we'll meet here next Sunday. And, and you, after you watch it, you, you give me your impression of it. 
Uh, the Jester 618 says, I got a 1963 Biscayne with a three on the tree for my first car. What Thanks. do you think? It's a great first car. It's awesome. You have a lot of fun with that. Yeah. I haven't seen the video, but I've seen people who didn't crack slash get excited under any circumstances. Thumper says, I've seen it. I'm a big aviation, and I was a month old that day. Oh, okay. You're a month old? That's a little... So you remember it, Tony? I remember it. I didn't, I didn't remember it until I saw it, but as I was watching it, I was like, it was, it was all of the memories were coming back. I was back. more impressed by Mission Control. I saw that. I saw Mission Control. That was the other I thing, too. I was paying too. more attention to that than anything else. That was the other thing, too, that was very I unusual. That was in, I, but I was two. <laughs> that was another thing that was very unusual, too, okay? Because they're showing Mission Control yeah. at the time that mm -hmm. this is actually happening. Right. And they're all motionless. Were they? Yes, they were motionless. I don't remember that, but... Yeah. Well, okay, see, Absolutely. now I remember pictures, I remember videos of Mission Control people going, yay, high five and doing all this other stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But when you watch the actual broadcast as it's happening live, the people at Mission Control, like literally, okay, so, so there's the, the, voice, the voice coming over, right? Because they never, they never stopped with the voice. There wasn't much of a picture to be seen at mm -hmm. the time because they hadn't set up the external camera. But the thing, and when it landed on the moon, they showed Mission Control... And the people at Mission Control were just sitting there, like, 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 completely, like, 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 as if nothing was happening. But I don't remember that. You don't have to remember it. You can watch it. Yeah. Okay. You can. That's what I'm saying. You I need to watch this. Well, see, my memory would be at that age. <laughs> the, well, it didn't. Really, it didn't occur to me either. Mm. Until you actually see it, in its original, unedited, you know, straight through version, and then it's like. Mm -hmm. It's weird. It, it is, there's just something not right about it. And you wonder why have all of these tapes disappeared? Why is there no... I don't know. I never heard that the tapes disappeared. The tapes didn't disappear. It wouldn't be a big deal for this guy finding one on eBay and restoring it and showing it. Are you sure they disappeared? Because I've never heard that they did. That, that's it. There's not, they're not out there. All you ever hear is is that is the 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 the, uh, the sound the sound clip of you know once all once small stuff from in blah blah blah, but that's it. That's Tina only. says, well, apparently they weren't also Italian, right? <laughs> hey! hey! Look at this planet. This is awesome. <laughs> Mark says I watched live on TV when I was thirteen. Neil was ice cold. That's probably why he he was picked to land first. He had many flight machines that tried to kill him. Yeah. 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 No. I'm. I'm. I can't. I'm not gonna buy it. I can't uh, buy it. I don't know. I don't think that that's good evidence. What you're saying, I don't think is good evidence. He's describing the minutia of the texture and the color mm. of the dirt. Right. Okay. Of the. That would not be. Like it, like it says, you're the most stoic guy in the world, okay? That's not your thing. You're not thinking about that. You're not, you've, you, you're ahead, you're occupied. You see what I'm saying? You're not taking the time to describe the color and the texture of the, of the dirt. It, it, maybe afterwards. Right now, your mission is to get your foot on the ground. Not, does that make any sense? <laughs> Les says, Tony, could you please badmouth the Ford Expo? <laughs> sure. <laughs> you want to badmouth something, Tony? I, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Type it out and I'll read it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I really don't have anything of my own. I don't want you to badmouth. I don't want to badmouth anything else. I'm, I'm done. I'm never going to badmouth anything ever again. Tonight. That's good. You shouldn't Tonight. do that. All right. I think we're done tonight. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. All right. <laughs> now that you've got that out of your system. Okay. We'll meet back here it's next Sunday evidence. night. Here's, here's your assignment. Okay. Here's your assignment. During the week, find this video. It's on YouTube. Okay. Just search. Wait, just... Dan, I sent you a super chat. Well, thank you. Can you the stock Jeep Core? 
Oh, what, on the, uh, on the XJ? I don't think I'm going to have to. Not to meet the goal. I mean, it, it could be done, but I don't... I don't to, to get that thing to where I want it to run, I do not believe there's going to be any, any major trickery that needs to be. I, th I think it has all of the basic pieces. Like I said, I, I believe there's going to be a, a 30 or 40 horsepower difference just in the tune. Because it's tuned for emissions. It's tuned for gas mileage, it's tuned for emissions. I'm leaving that up to Dr. Art. That's, that's his whole bag. So I believe just the tune and some refinement on, on, the, on the, the, the chassis, I don't think it's going to take all that much to get into, to meet our goal of going, getting into the 13th. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right, so what's their challenge? Watch this video of, not this, watch the, watch the video of the, of the moon landing, the whole thing. Right, and then and then we'll meet back here Sunday night, and you guys tell me if you if you see any. And there were other things too. But you said it was missing them. This guy found the tape. Did restored. you see how he just went oh, to me? <laughs> it was missing until this guy found it and restored it. So how are you gonna watch it? It's on it's on YouTube. They watch it the same way I watched it. <laughs> he definitely wasn't Italian. <laughs> no. Can we can we end this now? Yeah, I think so. Yes. <laughs> right. Thank you, everybody. Yes, everybody. Thank. Okay, Armands, Zero, <laughs> Fubar, Ari, Mexican Spec. Guys, thank you so much. As always, everybody contributed to super chat. Thank you very much. Paying for all the damage my dogs. I'm looking at the damage right now. From <laughs> my dog. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciated. Everybody contributed your presence and your conversation. Thank you equally. This week we're gonna work. Um, to this week I'm dedicated to getting the Belvedere done. Gonna to try Friday night to get Slay camera out to the track. It's opening night down there at Etheridge, so we'll probably take a hopefully take a ride. Wait, no. what? What? Friday? We'll see. F Friday the fifteenth is opening at Etheridge. We'll see. First test and tune there. Okay. So I'm gonna to try to get out Friday night with with Slay camera. Um, yeah, the, the the Belvedere is the big deal. Um, we will be going by Kiwis with Dr. Art one day early this week because there's a project, that, 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 something that the three of us are going to be working on, um, getting ready for Power Tour, so we'll be dropping in on Kiwi. And uh, I think that's really it. I think that's it. It's supposed to rain and thunderstorm on Friday. Is it? Mm -hmm. I'm not taking Slay Camera to the track on <laughs> Friday. Just letting you know. Yes, yeah, so I'm not going to get a dog sitter lined up in advance when the, when the forecast is definite rain. So. Thunderstorms. Yeah, so Slay Camera next week. Hmm. And I think that's it, right? I think so. You yes. thanked everyone? I thanked everybody. You thanked everybody who commented? I'm com yes, I, I thank... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, let, me, let me watch myself and Stop. see if I thanked everybody. Stop watching yourself. I have to watch myself. It's weird. Right. It is weird, right? Yeah. All right. Say goodnight. Goodnight. Goodnight, everybody. Goodnight, everybody. <laughs>